<laughs> well, now it's time for our trending topics of the day. We're talking about the premiere of a next Disney live action remake, a house that's a little bit unique, and an option to rent your clothes instead of buying them. But mm. first up, most excited about this one, the world premiere of Disney's live action remake of Aladdin is tonight in Hollywood. This is an overhead shot at El Capitan Theater there as preparations got underway. You can't miss the stage that's being set in the heart of Hollywood. It's all purple. And Will Smith, who will play the genie, will join his co-stars Mina Masood and Naomi Scott on the magic carpet for the big event. Okay, this is cool. I love that it's purple. <laughs> I like the fact that it's unique, too. Like you said, it's just something a little different. Of course, it's going to be one of those movies, again, I don't know how big. Mm. They had Jungle Book, the live animation. Yeah, they did. And then they had some other Beauty ones. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Uh, that was a big one. I feel like they're pulling That's out the big punchers right now, though. You have Cinderella. Aladdin. And then they have Lion King, too. Yeah. yeah. Lion King's coming out this summer, right? Yeah. So. It's going to be a big moneymaker, I think. Yeah, I'm excited to see how well it does, because I, I, I know I've heard a lot of people you know, talking about how excited they are about it. So Absolutely. I'm anxious to see mm -hmm. what happens, you know, actually in the box office. Well, it's always cool to see. I know everybody has their favorite Disney movie from back in the day. So Aladdin was mine. And that's why I'm so excited about this. So hopefully they can do a good job and portray it as I hope. So I'm looking forward to it. That's the tough part, though, because everybody has a different, you know, way of looking at it. Right. Yeah. yeah. So. We'll have to mm. see how they do. We shall. Okay. So a topsy-turvy house in England has visitors standing on their heads for the, for the perfect selfie. Check it out. The upside-down house is a house that sits on its roof while all the furniture is actually stuck on the ceiling. <laughs> and it was built to provide an inverted photo opportunity. Imagine that. Visitors <laughs> can be seen standing on the ceiling holding up the furniture, looking out the window, or even diving into the toilet. All providing fun, creative photographs for sharing on social media. The official website states that the houses changed with the seasons, both inside and outside, with a snowy house, inverted reindeer, colorful lights, and a different interior during the festive season. So that's pretty cool. I think I would check it out. Yeah, yeah it's cool. I'm not surprised. So you say, you're saying the only use of this house is to get it. A great well, self. You can't, yeah. you can't really live in there, Adam. No, I mean, apparently you can't, no. I mean, <laughs> or either it just, I guess, I mean, you can call them museums or museums. Yeah, you're uh, right. Case where They've you had know. a lot of those lately. The one mm -hmm. in Chicago, it's all about taking Instagram pictures. Uh, what is it called? I don't know what it's called. The Wonder Museum? Right? I don't know. Mm -hmm. But, but then, there's a few of them. Yeah, there's a bunch. And then we yeah. talked about that wedding chapel, and that was all black and white for Instagram. I mean, this is just... Silly, but it's cool. Just at the looks same like time. A, you know, I think piece it would be just yeah, yeah, not even necessarily just for the pictures. I think it would yeah. just be fun to just look at. Be in there. It. Yeah, go yeah. And it might be iconic to whatever location it is yeah. right there. Maybe Especially during the holidays. I think that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Look all lit up. Cool. Yeah. Should okay. be lit. All right. Lit? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the sharing economy is widening its reach in the fashion industry. Urban Outfitters says it is launching an online subscription service allowing people to rent clothes. The service will cost about $88 a month to rent six items. Returned items will then be cleaned and sent to another customer. The service will launch this summer. I love how they specify that it will <laughs> yeah. be cleaned yeah. before they send question. it off to somebody else. That's nice to know. Yeah. Um, well, this is similar to Rent the Runway. There's mm -hmm. that that's mostly, I don't know if they've uh, delved into the other, you know, like I know, more I, casual clothes. I get what you're right. But that was more um, evening wear. Right. Okay. There, no, there's I another mean, one I can't think of. Stitch Fix? Is that the is clothes? That another one? That's, that's one. That's, that's renting? casual jeans. Yeah, that's renting clothes as well because you can, you can buy oh, them I too, thought, though. Yeah, oh, wait. I thought that was I don't where know. you get the box. Yes. There's so many different you're kinds right. yeah. I don't know. I've never gotten it, so I just got excited. But no, I mean, I don't know what clothes. I don't think I've ever been to an Urban Outfitters, but they don't have any... Uh, undergarments do they because oh, when, that's you're a good point. when you're talking about washing clothes i hope you wouldn't rent those then, i don't i don't want to know that it's a little too close and personal yeah i wouldn't rent that oh <laughs> i don't yeah that's a bad idea right there Plus, i mean socks or anything else like that oh too. socks yeah I mean, you can wash it. it. Yeah, wash socks it. aren't as bad as other things. But even yeah. after a while, when you're washing clothes over and over again, you start to lose some <laughs> of its color. It's vibrant. You know, I would hope look. before that happened, they'd, you know. Yeah, maybe they have somebody looking at them and saying, well, this was not looking too great. Yeah. Let's n not put it on clearance. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I guess know. if you get a bad stain on it, then, of course, you just purchase it. Uh, yeah, I wonder what happens with that. Oh, uh, you, you probably have to buy it. If you spill coffee on your shirt. I bet you shirt. have to buy it. If it's too bad, you know, you can't get it out. I don't know. 
Who knows? I'll look into it. Well, our instant connection poll has to do with this today. We want to know, do you currently use any subscription service? If so, which one do you use? Go to our Facebook page and take a vote and then leave a comment with what you're using. It could even be like Netflix or something if you'd like. But still to come on The Morning Show, we've got a brand new wise guy in the studio. Yes, Professor Charles Gammy is here and he's going to tell us all about his work with the first black hole, plus how the U of I was involved with the image. And more mayor from the Champaign County Humane Society is here. She's got the details for this weekend's giant annual garage sale. That's coming up next.